hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about catching up you know I've got to catch up so I'm going to kind of go through what I'm doing to catch up what did I do to minimize my uh my catch-up work I guess you could call it and we're going to talk about the kinds of things that you can do to help yourself if you ever do want to take you know a week off um because it was the holidays so I was off my day job to spend more time with my family so I did want to do some things but I didn't want to well I couldn't right I couldn't do everything because there was you know an important aspect of it is spending time with family right so we're going to talk about how I'm catching up what am I what am I doing now what do I need to do and what you can do to help you with your catching up right just about just <laughs> but bef but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so catching up so before you have to catch up you got to be doing things right so if you have a schedule that you're doing something that you're doing every single day then that's that's the stuff that you would have to catch up on now if you're not doing things every single day then first of all shame on you because that is one of the ways that you can get the results over time you got to be consistent you got to be persistent you got to be doing your content all the time every single day it doesn't have to be a whole lot of stuff me I'm probably doing more than I should be doing maybe I need to find a way to minimize that and that's one of the things I want to do maybe in the new year but for now it's something I've been doing for a long time so I'm kind of trying to make sure that I do that or at least catch up to it make it so that it's similar to what uh, I've been doing so it's a daily thing right before we get into that I want to let you know if you're listening to the audio make sure you go check out the video at cis301.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I might be sharing my screen well I will be sharing my screen I always do that and uh, you'll get more out of it if you go check out the video all right so catching up first you have to like I said you have to have a plan for me what I do is I do a daily episode course income secrets I do that Monday to Friday and you know whenever it's Christmas or in the new year well there's a, a, a pretty big chance I guess one in uh two chances out of no five chances out of seven that those days fall in the week right so that means that in theory maybe I shouldn't be doing an episode then but for me it's like well you know I'm doing five a week it's like a such a nice round number if skipping one would make the numbers all messed up again I I like to have my my zero and my five you know at the end of the week on the Fridays which is what I've been doing for a long time I kind of want to keep it that way so I want to catch up so what I did is I did prepare a few things I recorded some videos but I didn't do the sharing I didn't do lots of the other things that I do but let me just kind of show you a little bit how my process works if you don't already know this if we go and we look at my uh, uh, blog let's just go look at my blog here actually let's share the screen so this is well right now it's just the blog but this is the blog right every single day right I post a new blog 297 295 295 96 97 98 99 300 right now I'm doing episode 301 but I mean I did these other episodes as you can see they're still drafts because I didn't finish them because that was New Year's Eve and New Year's Day right the, the 31st of December and the 1st of January those are the two episodes I didn't post I did post 298 which was on the Thursday I guess the 30th but I didn't post these other two right and so I'm catching up now finishing up the stuff so there's lots of things that I'm doing but it doesn't mean that you have to be doing all these things the point is you got to have if you have a schedule you have a you know things that you're doing you're trying to accomplish just keep it um consistent right on the same on the same schedule every single day somehow organizing your your content your what you're doing so that you can do it um 
easily right so you can figure out what you need to do and the other thing that you can do is you can do things ahead of time which is something I I really have to start working on because one of the things one of the problems I have is my internet isn't that great so I can't it takes a little bit to upload my video to YouTube right after I've recorded it if I want to upload it it takes a bit longer because my internet is slowed sometimes it takes like an hour to upload my video right so what do I do during that hour right um so it's all about organizing the events that have to occur and then the other thing too is that after I upload the video I want the subtitles to be generated by YouTube sometimes that takes half a day even 24 hours before that subtitle is available that I can get it and edit it so if I could do the video the day before upload it and then it would have almost a whole day to get, get all that prepared so that by the time I do the blog anyway so but that's not the point that's not the point of today today I want to talk about what do you do to catch up all right so I've got these two episodes that I haven't published yet so for me it's about creating the video creating the blog post uploading the video and then sharing that on different platforms and and to do all that I need to have like I have one of these this is one of the things I have is the um my syndication process right video syndication I have on Click eCourse where I can generate all these assets for my video so I gotta kind of go through that process wait for that to happen before I can do the rest then I go back in here and I edit this video that did I actually I think yeah so I didn't finish this one let's see let's see so let me just show you kind of what I do so I got this video here well this this is the video the YouTube right then down the bottom I got this image I've got the uh whoops over here I've got the featured image so I've got all those those get generated from the syndication asset so well after I've recorded the video I can start writing the blog post but I can't finish the blog post until I have these assets generated from the syndication engine so it's all it's all a sequence of things but the thing is that if you have your sequence and you've been doing it for a long time it becomes easier to keep track of what you need to do you could have a checklist you could do things like that but for me it's more about um just creating the content in a way that's consistent and structured right so now that I want to so for me to catch up now the other thing you got to be careful of in social media if you take like say for example I've got now I've got three I actually have three episodes that should be posted already right well two of them should already be done from last week the third one should be today so I can't take those three episodes and share them on all the platforms at least not in the groups now I can post them most likely I can post all three of these episodes today during my lunch or something right but I can't actually uh share them all on say on all the Facebook groups or on the um LinkedIn groups because the platforms don't want too much activity they see that as spam right it, it, if there's a certain number of um things that happen so if I was to share my video you know at 1205 I do the video from 299 then at 1220 I do video number uh 2300 then at 1245 uh, I do video number 301 and I did all those and shared those to the 20 groups I share the videos every day to 20 times 4 is 60 shares in 60 different groups that would be too much Facebook would would uh, might not might allow me to do it that day today but after a couple days they would see the total number of shares and everything as being uh spam right so they would they would maybe block me maybe I wouldn't be able to share the groups that's happened to me before in the past because I whenever you take some breaks you gotta you gotta ease back into your normal process actually since I haven't shared in like three days well three days plus the weekend so that's five days then I might not be able to share to my 20 groups that I share on Facebook for example right so that's another thing you got to be careful of you got to make sure that you don't um just jump in to where you were before when you're trying to catch up when trying to get back into it right so you got to take a, a little extra time to catch up so maybe the whole week I'm gonna have to do less groups but as but for me the important thing is creating the content and posting it right because it's not about necessarily today for me it's more about legacy it's more about in you know, six months a year from now when somebody you know discovers me and they're like oh this guy's cool and they want to go look at the old stuff I did that old stuff is all there and it shows that I've been consistent right even though I skipped 
a couple days right when somebody looks at it in six months from now they're still going to see all the episodes so to them it won't look like there was any skip and that's the important thing you gotta you gotta you gotta show that you're consistent and because especially if you're teaching that if you're trying to sh share to tell people that you're consistent you got to be consistent right if you're not consistent and you're telling people you are that's not very good right so for me maybe I need to sh I need to stop sharing every single day maybe I need to do it every other every other day once a week I've been toying with that idea for a while because there is a lot of other stuff I need to do other than this this these cons these episodes that I do daily right I mean I have my day job I have my family I have all that but also my blog my website the the website the, Cl the click ecourse website right this site here I mean I I need to improve lots of these things right I mean uh, you got the you got the this page here which shows all the courses that are available but, but what about you know, what about a, a, um, a school right people want to be able to have their only their course in a page so I got to implement the school thing which is not done yet I did some work but it's not available for people I also want to do things like groups and pages which in the feed when we look at the feed all we see right now is just me sharing my courses right rating courses uh, sharing new lessons that kind of stuff so that's all me because I'm the one that's active on the site I got a couple other people on the site but not nothing major yet so I want to see more stuff here but also there should be a way to have uh, you know uh, pages on there and groups and and posts and that kind of stuff right so that's what I want to see I want to be able to create groups the other thing is I want to be able to m come customize a course landing page if I go to this course here see I ask for Alexa right now it's just standards it's very it's the same for everybody right there's a there's a box here with description and then all the lessons are right there right so that's kind of what I have for uh, the course pages but I want that to be completely customizable maybe maybe you don't want to have the the ads on the side well you can disable the ads here if you want but um but what if you want to have you know the menu on the right hand side instead and you want to have the lessons in the middle there and you want to have different things like that right right now it's just a bunch of lessons but what if you want to have one only one lesson show up on the page like lots of other platforms do right well you want to be able to do that I want to implement that so those are things I want to implement on the platform which I haven't been able to do because I'm spending so much time doing my daily content maybe that's one of the things I need to to do right change that so that I don't have to spend all this time doing um this these daily episodes right that I that I do post every single every, pretty much every day right um yeah so that's and and catching up is all about getting back into the swing of things right so you get to a point where you're 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 doing your your daily stuff and you're just you're just consistent and you're taking less and less time to do these things that you do every day or maybe you spend less time on them but you get to a point where you're able to accomplish things that you know you get further ahead right so the new year is definitely a great time to change your process and to change what you do and how you do it and that's one of the things that I that I I'm trying to accomplish and I'm kept like so okay let's go back so for me the other stuff I got to do let's just uh, do another uh, new window here new window let's make this like this so that you can see it all so there's a couple of things I have to do to catch up right so first I got to go into my Aweber whoops I should have probably just oh messages broadcast am I not logged in oh I am logged in okay so what I want to do is I got to go into my simple online strategies right here which is where I have my broadcast for my daily emails and as you can see right now the scheduled ones they're gone there's no more schedule the last one was sent today was that the one 296 sent January 4th yeah that's right so now I gotta create a new message I'm gonna go and create a new one uh the one 296 so let's go over to 297 and get the a word so this is the stuff I do every single day I kind of do this and but now I gotta catch up for tomorrow right tomorrow is going to be this one it's going to be an email for next one for tomorrow so I'm basically just creating this in here whoops right there so this is kind of how I do my in my emails I just take the blog post I just take part of my blog post and I create a, 
I create a uh, email from it so I upload this image from my 297 right over here which will be um, this will be the thumbnail which one is it it's the thumbnail the thumbnail the gift play actually that's the one here so I want a, a gift there so that it looks like a little video with a little play in the middle that's kind of how I do the this you see how the little play there so that when you get the email you think oh this is a video so you actually click it right and then we got the text and let's just get that in there and let's um, get that done let's I gotta put some carriage turns all over otherwise it looks way too uh all right whoops don't want to do that there we go okay so that's the that's where I want this to go to and I want this to go to there too and then that's it so I save that then I schedule it for tomorrow right so schedule I didn't realize I was that late in all this actually today I thought I was I had a few more but I have to uh as you can see I sent to everybody but I have a tag that apply that's applied to subscribers once they've gotten my indoctrination that's kind of how that works 7 30 a.m eastern time and then I open over here oh why is this why is that there okay click log there we go apply and schedule okay so now that's scheduled for tomorrow so at least I can catch up for the rest but that's I, I can do other ones 297 298 99 um but for now I'm just going to do that one for tomorrow just kind of show you that's another that's one of the things I have to do I, and this is this is the thing catching up is all about yeah, it's also all about planning ahead right so if you you could actually if if or I could I could actually if I wanted record videos ahead of time you know the week before the week the holidays I could have done that I could have recorded four or five videos and scheduled them to show up during the week without me having to do anything right I could have done that uh, and maybe that's something I have to look into to do later on because it helps to be focused on something else when your content is just automatically going to be posted right um, so I have to look into the stuff that I'm doing now to see how I can actually get to a point where I'm able to do that right so I still have my Christmas money as you can see uh but yeah so that's um okay so that's for that now the other thing I do as well is I also have and this is less important but let me just kind of show you my SoundCloud is where I upload uh video uh the sorry the wave files from the videos right so I got 298 right here so I could upload a new one or let's just uh upload I can upload oh I won't do that from here right I don't do that here I don't do that here because the internet's so slow I actually upload it to an, a server that's on a computer that's on the in the cloud and from that computer I do this stuff so I'm not going to do that right here but I'm but that's kind of what as you can see I'm at 298 right now so I got to upload different ones it's really interesting that I get these these I actually get people listening to this stuff I didn't even know like c11 it's still not a ton but still pretty impressive that I'm getting these listens in my audios I'm actually impressed by that okay what's the next thing the next thing I do is I also have this social jukebox which is automated automated posting to uh, LinkedIn and to Twitter and also Facebook I'm not uh, using Facebook that much for this but I do have some stuff but the way it works is you create these jukeboxes of content like see this one here which is my blog post right here uh just sort it by order you can see right here that I've done 293 292 291 290 right I, I posted that in here right and now what happens is they get shared randomly from all the there's 708 
708 posts in this juke in this jukebox sorry about that in this jukebox that gets shared and as you can see the dates here the 23rd uh well actually that's because I in, in in Twitter I share when I post so whenever I first create it I share it as well right but if I look through if I look at the last posted here you can see that this one is the one that was posted on the 4th uh at 8 a.m 8 30 a.m 7 30 a.m this one is 7 a.m 11 30 11 01 10 30 so these links which are just links to my blogs older blogs see blog 151 165 244 these are older blogs and this is a more recent one course income secrets 145 right whoops that was that was shared on my on my twitter at 7 a.m today right this is yesterday 11 30 so I mean the my schedule is is uh is is controlled in a different place anyways we're not going to show you that this is juke social jukebox it's a tool that lets you create these jukeboxes so in here I actually create these all I got to do is I so, see let's do 294 so 294 so it's jukebox uh, twitter let's go to 294 and do that because that's 293 is the last one so let's add a new one it's going to be 294 I'm surprised I'm that late but anyways and then in here I post this image here and I get the text out of here oh, that didn't work put that over here like this okay then I paste that in here and as long as see the number is too high so I got to delete and sometimes there's duplication of stuff I'm not really sure why so I got to take out some text so that it, it's below the, the 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 total number you can have right then I say save and post so that posts it to my Twitter and also creates a new post for me right here right so now and then the other thing I do is I take this as well I create a new blog post with just the URL like this and now I have two new uh entries so 710 right so that's and then I do the other ones up to 300 there but they end up being in my jukebox for future posts and that's that's the other thing I do um SoundCloud jukebox uh, what else is there anything else that I have to do to catch up so YouTube blog Facebook yeah no that's it so that's it so th those are the things I got to do to catch up so I got to do all these things to catch up and uh, and that's because I have this process if I didn't have this process that was well defined then you know it would be like well whatever but the thing is that if you don't have a consistency and you don't keep that consistency active you're going to lose out a lot of stuff your your momentum is is caused by consistency if you don't have the consistency you're going to lose the momentum and you're just going to have to start from scratch almost every time you take a break so you got to make sure you don't get in that situation All right hopefully you enjoyed this and we're going to see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.